Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky, second chapter, where last episode Annalise and Estelle headed into the Bow Star Channel to continue their training as they cleared it out. With Kurt himself appearing as the final unexpected challenge, we managed to return to the Guild Lodge victorious, having got a good test of our new augments. Heading to bed ready for a new day of training, Estelle is instead awoken by gunshots in the middle of the night as the lodge itself came under attack. With Kurt injured, Estelle and Annalise stood against an invading Jaeger, but with a canister of sleep gas having entered the mix, what will become of our braces? It's not just a smoke bomb, it was a sleep bomb, too. Uh, morning already? Feels too, uh... What? What the heck? Where in the goddess's name? I remember an attack and then... Annalise! Wake up, Annalise! Oh no! <laughs> a stuffed bunny and a stuffed teddy bear. Ooh, which one to pick? Can I take them all, Grandpa? What the heck kind of dream? Annalise, come on, wake up. This is not the time. What? Oh, morning, Estelle. All oh, right, fine for morning practice. Uh, no, it is not time for morning practice. Just wake up already. Get it together. Huh? Wait, um, Estelle, what's going on? This isn't my bedroom. That attack thing was just a bad nightmare, right? Boy, don't I wish. If we both remember it, though, I kind of doubt it was a dream. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Wowee. Man, looks like we lost the match. No points for me. Annalise, why do I get the sense you're still half asleep? Anyway, let's go over what we know. Get our bearings and stuff. So last night a group of men who looked just a bit like Jaegers attacked the lodge. I remember Kurt was wounded and right after we arrived an enemy jumped in through the window. And right after that it was lights out for me. Yeah, that matches what I remember. The question is how the heck did we wind up here? Good question. That is kind of weird. It looks like they left most of our stuff on us, but... Yeah, all my new combat gear is missing. Man... Oh yeah, mine too. So that means we were probably brought here by... Oh, Kurt, the attacking Jaegers or some third party? Sounds like the Jaegers, but why wouldn't they just get rid of us? They stole all our stuff. I'm always get these wrong. But I'd have to assume it was the Jaegers. Because why would some third party steal my stuff? Maybe a third party. Kurt wouldn't take my gear, would he? So, it's... Yeah, well, I'm gonna go with the attacking party. I don't know. Yeah, that's the obvious answer. One thing's bugging me, though. It's just, why did they tie us up, or I don't know, stab us or something? They just left us in the open. That is true. Well, let's see. After knocking us out and disarming us, something happened and they had to quickly retreat somewhere else, leaving us behind. Yeah, that's pretty believable. In that case, sticking around here is like asking to get our heads cut off. Still, you still have that map? Oh, well, yeah, we still have some of our stuff, so... Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I thought so. There's St. Chloe Forest, where we were training last night. I'm guessing that's where we are now. So in that case, our first goal should be getting out of the forest and checking on the lodge, right? Yeah, I want to see if we can find Kurt and make sure he's okay. Like you said, we've got to get out of this stupid forest. Alright then, let's get out of here. We're basically sitting ducks about our gear, remember? So we need to be careful. We got it. It'd be nice if we could reclaim our gear somehow. As in, augments? No, our augments are here. Our defensive gear is gone. And our weaponry. So basically, we don't really want to get in a fight. Anything else around here, though? What's this? A Jaeger tent? That'd be my guess. Let's take a peek inside. We might find something useful. A tier bomb times five, EP charge times two. Well, looks like that's everything. Darn it, I was hoping we'd find our gear in there. Man, I wish it was that easy. Still, the tent's in good shape. We could probably nap here if we need to take a quick rest. We have time to just lounge around, but if we really need a rest, we should keep it in mind. Good idea. How much of the items did they take? It looks like we still got mostly of what we had. Anything else around here? Nope. Do I avoid or fight? These are my questions at the moment. 
And we'll be back down this way, won't we? So avoid what I can sounds about right. I said, which way to go is also the other question. Enhanced lever. Hey, do you think this could be our equipment? Sure looks like it. The rest of our stuff might be hidden around like this. Cool. I can't like to avoid fighting the monsters, but we do need to find our stuff. Okay. Some of our stuff is around the place. One of them. Look, I know I don't have anything, but we can still hang out, right? Wait, come back! I want to fight these things. I want to find out what they've got on them. At least we've got our information courts. And we can see people, thanks to the other courts, too. Well, let's look for more chests. We need the weaponry, really. Nothing over here. Let's cross this. And find a whole lot of nothing again, unless we can make it through there. But there's a chest there. I guess that was more or less what it was showing us. No chest behind those trees. Ah, that said, how do we loop round there? Right, clear and we find another chest. Reinforced boots. Physically sensing there's nothing inside, you walk away from the chest without disturbing it. Is that physically or psychically? Did I read that wrong? You're a frontline trooper right now. Looks like we'll get all defensive here before we even get any weaponry by looking at it. I don't know which way the flower's facing. Or is it the bee that's the enemy that's circling around it? Big questions. Big questions. They're not two naked girls running around the forest, no. They are wearing clothes. But they aren't wearing armor over their clothes, is as I put it. Here's another oubliette. Alright, found a fence set, so we got one weapon. That's not really the order we want to find the things, but whatever. There's also this over here, so there's... Ah! Break rod. So Stell's ready to go. The chest looks sad in the flame, now that you've taken all its stuff. Poor chest. You ever wonder if the items in these chests were meant for someone specific? And you have the nurse take the menu? How rude. Kind of true. Alright, well, at least if I can get the... Uh oh Did I want to go that way yet? I don't know. At least if I can get the, uh, the other leather chest, I'll be set to fight, really. Because that's where the mainstay of our defense comes from. And this type, Annalise will be taking a lot of damage from hits, so we should conserve our strength. So this takes me to the other side of... There we go. Maybe. We can go into this? Okay. Well, there's one other chest. So we've definitely seen a chest that wasn't our chest before. That's a nature's bounty. The chest is empty now. So empty, so lonely. Please don't go! I think we've got to get to the chest that was on the other side of the waterway, yeah? Did I enter there? I entered there, yeah? Oh, I'm lost. Oh, there's a chest here. Keep a charge. Alright, that way is to St. Cloy Forest. Ranger and Survival Skills Training Grounds. Hey, this sign. Looks like a guy posted to me. We passed by this way yesterday, so I'm sure this is the way out. Awesome. Now we can get out of the forest. No, we can. We still need more gear. And to at least fight one of every enemy. This way? No, nope, that's the way we came in. Ah, there it is. That's lever. There we go. Now we've got all our gear. Time to go beat up the natives. <laughs> Why do you have to come back? You could have just walked away with the goods, but now the treasure chest has you right where it wants to! Then a mimic. That should be a battle. I'm not lost, I'm found. A bush lancer. Cat type monster with sharp claws. When it ties, it will rest to recover stamina. We can't even reach. Not very good at moving. Uh-oh. everything back. We're terrible.
I'm gonna make sure I take down one then. Oh, wow. Okay, they were weak. Weak, weak, weak monsters. And we did get some extra strength on that. Probably because, of course, we were wandering around naked. So if they had two strong monsters, it wouldn't be good for us, would it? Not naked, just disarmed. Which side is your butt? I'm assuming this is your butt? That was your face. Now you're obviously going to be weak to fire, right? An annual plant spreads toxic pollen. They were weak enough to fight with our training you. Don't sting, Sprinkle. You get to go twice? Which side is a flower's butt? I'm just asking the question. Alright, prickly seed is gained there. I guess we should continue to find out what's down there. Uh... That's that one's butt. That's a lot of guys, though. That's a lot of guys. All right. Oh, no. Electricity generating monster will self-destruct when defeated. That's not what we wanted to see. Am I too close at the moment? What's the range on this self-destruct? Like, pretty big, actually. This is where I die. This is normally just a bit out of range. No, he wasn't! <laughs> no, very no. Uh, I don't- I can't- I can't move in. Thank goodness we got that gem. And upgraded that slot. Because I would have just ran in there with Hurricane Devil Ways. And that could have been really messy. Very messy. I'll take the small bit of experience. It's all good. It's the setup we want. Pretty seed and some beast flesh from the cats. Maybe we can make spag bowl with it. That's what we used to use before, right? Well, let's head down the way then. See what else is down this bit. No treasure chests. Just the one up top. Shame. Shame. Uh, I should go for one of these cats first. Because Annalise has proven that she doesn't have the speed to reach the back line. Two more Annalise. That's all we wanted. Is there a treasure chest down here? Nope. Alright, so the treasure chest was fighting the war's current. We can get to the other side of the bank though. Which got us uh, nearly a whole lot of evidence of battles here. What's that this way then? That's another way around to where we've already been. It's a different route. I'd imagine we've explored this place then. Separate secret hidden routes. Alright, so our guide post, our signpost says this way, so let's go. Have a little bit of save on the cards after things, because if we're going towards a lodge, who knows what might still be there. And those guys were a bit harder than you'd expect. Ah. Not a wide open plain. Annalise, I think that's the exit. Phew, finally, I thought we'd never get out. Oh dearie me. I take my eyes off you for one second and you run away. Such naughty, naughty children. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to my hunting grounds, kittens. Uh, a woman? Estelle, watch out! Whoever she is, she's good. Ooh, sharp enough to pick up on that, are we? 
Not only that, but you're already back on your feet after getting a face full of gas. That's slightly impressive. That's a brace for you, I suppose. Pointlessly tough, if nothing else. Hey, hey, whoever you are, what's going on here? Why are you attacking the training rounds? What do we ever do to you? Oh, kitten, you're assuming I need to answer questions. Now you have two choices. Surrender quit quietly, or we have a little hunting party. Damn it. Can we have to fire off as we are? Retreat for now or fight now? Do you know what? I'm actually going to retreat. Alex, come on! <laughs> right! <laughs> I wanted to see what she did. <laughs> Run if you want, kittens. There's no other way out after all. We'll just take this dance nice and slow then. I want to see what happened. Phew. Looks like she isn't going to chase us. Yeah, thank the goddess. She's probably going to join up with the rest of her team so she can have a real hunting party. We need to take it down as fast as we can. Not often they let you take that option. The real reason I ran away, by the way, is because I wasn't sure if I'd already equipped the enhanced lever on Annalise. Of course I had. But I got worried for a second. So with that said, we can now bust in. We should be good for this. Let's go. That crazy Jaeger lady is probably still waiting for us. Estelle, you think we're ready? Yeah, we'll bash your face in. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. That said, our running away did waste ammo. Okay, come on. I smash your face in. <laughs> Be aggressive. Sorry to make you wait, Miss Creepo. This time we're leaving. Ever past you or over you? Who such fire this time? Well, kittens, come closer. Let's put an end to our little hunt. Ah, here's our problem. We can't use the same strategy this time. Because... Literally, she's keeping us away. Right. Mysterious combatant who suddenly appeared. Attacks from afar. Reacts sharply to arts. Sounds like we want to physically attack this guy as much as possible then. We've got our specials, to be honest. Let's uh, make sure to separate the two as well. We're going to have to corner this. This sucks. Just look at their HP with being drained as we just get closer. I hate this lady. This is the clever tactic, to be fair. Now he's going to run that way. How am I going to die? I hate you! It's unfair, you're not allowed to kite me! Yeah, 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 yeah. I should be able to get a tear off before anything happens again. I mean, I can use my specials to knock her down too. God. Right, you say you react sharply to arts. Let's find out how sharply. Yeah. I guess it'll only happen if I'm, uh... Maybe that would actually keep her in range, to be fair. Can I get a tear off again in time? Yeah. Maybe if I'm casting, she'll do something. And that means she won't run. We can wish. Okay, that would end up going after. I can't reach. Can't reach. Can't reach anyone. I could probably use chain, maybe. That's probably the way to do it. Just be relatively enough to do a chain. But then we've got to get in range too. Which means that horrible period of time of just moving towards her and crying. Essentially she has to end up next to someone's fear of attack. But, well you got two attacks? 
That's just a fail. Oh my god. I need my MEP for... This is horrible attacks. Being able to move and shoot in a game like this when you can't move and form an action on anyone else is unreal. Unreal good. It's so good. Such a good ability to have. She doesn't care about turn order, must be from Calvard. Zin! Stop going away from me! Ah! You missed! Oh, I can't. Oh, you need both of them to be in range to attack as well. Okay. That's fun. Thank you for that. I guess I can just run at her this time, though. Ha ha! I reached you, you git! You're cornered, in fact. Which way are you gonna go out? You go out right, right? She's in the corner! Get her! Stop shooting me! Am I actually near enough to do a chain here? No! Get him, Estelle! Get him in the corner! Beat her up! Beat her up! I've had enough! We won. What an annoying lady. Bury her. Uh, seems I know I made you. A little. I'll teach you to look down on braces. Your first mistake was assuming we're just a pair of clueless little girls. Why so spirited and fiery now? I'll have to do something about that. This again? Sal, hold your breath. Run, run, run. Oh, kittens, you realize we've captured the tactician already, yes? You're alone here now. Just give up and surrender. It'll be easier. She got away. We probably shouldn't chase her, right, Annalise? Yeah, bad idea. Way too obvious a trap. Hey, Estelle. She said we've captured the tactician, didn't she? Oh. Yeah, she was probably talking about Kurt. Yeah, she had to be. Please, no. Hey, don't worry. Even if he was caught, this is Kurt we're talking about. He'll be fine. Besides, this is the sort of thing we've been training for. You really think so? Uh, emergency decision making, survival techniques, counterterrorism skills. Yeah, you're right. We'll put what we've learned to use and save Kurt. That's the analyst I know. Hey, how about we return to the lodge real quick? We should check to see if the enemy's occupied it for starters. Yeah, good point. Off we go then. Alright, where else are we looking? I guess we can go straight to the lodge at this point. We're kind of out of EP. But I'm guessing we'll just be able to, like, zoop to the guild lodge. Without much of a threat. Well, from the outside, it looks like nobody's here. Yeah, it should be safe to nose around inside. There might be traps or something, though, so let's be careful. Got it. See, I'm expecting no one to be here. But you can't just expect that. I save because I'm incredibly aware that I haven't used any EP ups or anything like that, which would be good to use at this point. I mean, I could fast travel to the sewers and use a recharge point. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of doing. Oh. Oh. That spear looks a lot like, um, Kurtz. Uh, well... Let's have a look around. Yeah, there might be a uh, clues or something. Right. I think I need to rest here, though. 
Broken spear is lying on the ground. It appears to belong to Kerp. The floor is stained with blood. Is this Kurt's? I, I, uh, I think so. But I mean, there isn't a lot, so his injury is probably um, fatal. Yeah. The Yobel telephone has been smashed to pieces. Dang it, no surprise from pro mercenaries, I guess. No way they wouldn't cut all the obvious means of communication. Yeah, they don't want us calling for any reinforcements. Damn, it's gonna make us even harder. I was wondering more about, like, using the old machine to make some separate, or make some quartz. Barrels of foodstuffs are empty. The enemy took our food, too? Yeah, they're the only ones who would have, I think. And I don't see Phyllis anywhere. No blood, thank Adios. I wonder what happened. I mean, I want to check my room, really. There are bits of paper left behind, indicating something was torn away from the board. Hey, wasn't there a map pinned up on it? Yeah, just like the one we have. If they have that, then that means... They know the way. They know the locations around the area is not the point. Let's check our rooms. Ah, oh, they look fine. That's what I was looking to do. Alright, we're arrested. We're good. I don't know that they really did anything with anyone's room. This is where they took the stuffed bears. You can rest anywhere, can you? Nothing to this room. What about this room that was always locked? Haha. -ha. We found Gambler Jack, Volume 1. Ah, in the middle of it all, we found our first book to read. That was locked for way too long for me not to be suspicious of it. Reading book? Do people want me to read them a story in the middle of this tense situation? It's five pages only. And so we start off on collecting books yet again. We read Gambler Jack. Chapter 1. The Girl. The Coward Republic. A sea in this country, a place where migrants from the east have recreated their homeland down to the bright lacquered tiles, nicknamed the Eastern Quarter. It's a vibrant place, bustling and hot. All buses trundle down the main street, lined with stands of fragrant eastern cooking, mm, as the welcoming cries of sellers rise and fall over a crowd of travellers from every nation. The place where the cultures of east and west meet. Yes, it was a place that wore their mantle well. On the north outskirts of that town was a little rundown bar. Doubtless it had been fashionable again. Or fashionable once. But now the place was crumbling, and what doors were left barely fit their pitted frames. Of course, such a seedy place attracted the clientele to match, so the lords and violent, it was home. <laughs> Sorry, this is my win again, said a low voice that echoed through the grimy room. The voice belonged to Jack. He was a medium size in his early thirties, a man in his prime. The frayed shirt he wore had seen better days, but the accessories adorning his body were of obvious worth. None of them were right for a man like him, just like the blue glint in his eyes. Compared to the dirty, poor and desperate thugs around him, he looked out of place. Jack was always to be found at that bar, gambling, or sharing around with the dregs of the town. Sometimes fighting, sometimes drinking. He passed his days in idle recreation. As usual, today found him hunched to the bar. He'd been deep in his cup since early noon. And it was the same as always. Another day, just like any other, was stretching out before him. And into that familiar scene cut the shriek of the door opening. A new customer stepped into that same old bar. But who was this new arrival? It was a girl, unlike any other he had seen before. Scene set. So now there's something else to collect throughout all of this. Brilliant times, eh? Only five pages. <laughs> the window is broken and shards of glass lie on the floor. This is the window that Jaeger leapt through last night, right? Yeah. He was really skilled. You could tell from the way he handled himself. Okay, so we've given the lodger once over. It looks like the second floor is completely untouched. They only roughed up the first floor. Yeah, I get the feeling there might be a reason for that. And now that we know that, I think I have an idea about what the enemy is doing. You do? I have my own theory. Some of it still doesn't quite make sense, but a few of the pieces are coming together, I think. Think about it. We've seen what's in the lodge, and there was that tent in the forest. We put together the clues we found in those two places. I think I get it. What did the foe do? Retreat from their lock up? Seal the canyon entrance? Move to a new base? They move somewhere else. Exactamundo! Glad we're on the same page, Estelle. The tent was probably a staging point for attacking the lodge, which means it was abandoned because they've moved somewhere else. Oh, I get it. But they're obviously not using the lodge as a base either. Hmm. 
Well, they probably realise that it's hard to defend the lodge. If the guild ends up sending reinforcements, they're going to need a defensible position where they can keep the hostages. So they must have taken a position somewhere in the lock there that they could think they could defend easily. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So any place like that around here would be... You two! Oh! Robert! Hey, you're safe! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Last night, Kurt gave me a chance to get away. I've been hiding ever since then. Oh, okay. We're well, still really glad you're safe. Forgive me. I ran away and abandoned everyone. I'm a pathetic excuse for a man I know. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. These are Jaegers after all. Yeah, she's right. If anything, we're lucky they have one less hostage. Let's see. Thank you, girls. So did you two have any idea where Kurt and Phyllis are? You mentioned hostages? Well... Estelle and Annalise relayed their theory that the enemy had taken the two, host two as hostages and moved to a new base. I get it. A base that'd be easy to defend. Grimsel Forest, then. Has to be. Grimsel what? what the I said a forest, didn't I? Fortress. Th there's a fortress in the canyon? Did you not look at the map? Well, we call it a fortress, but it isn't really one. It's a new training ground we built recently, based on modern military facilities. The idea is to train braces in counter-terror operations and hijack military bases. That sort of thing. I didn't realise there was a place like that in the canyon. It is on the map, though. Annalise. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, hey. You two aren't thinking of taking the fight to them all by yourselves, are you? You need to at least call the guild for backup, or... They smashed the phone to bits, Robert. They smashed my phone! Those... Um, Robert, calm down, please. Can you try and fix the phone? If you can get it working, contact the guild as soon as you can. Let them know what's happened. Okay. If you need me to tune your ornaments, just stop by the workshop. Good luck, girls. I'll be praying for you. Okay, let's go, Estelle. Time to make a two-girl assault on Grimsel Fortress. Let's do it. They smashed my phone! Right, what can I make? Can I make an impede? Of course I can. That'd be silly. That'd be too good. Prevent enemy arts and crafts with 10% success rate. So it does work as imp it does work as normal MP does. That sounds more normal. Why did I read it differently before? Oh, I guess it looked weird on the spell sheet. It does still seem to do impede. That's not bad. The problem is, is the success rate. Maximum we can get is 40%. Now we can get another EP cut, which probably would not be a bad idea due to the amount of, you know, gems that gives us. So let's get one of them for Annalise. Now we can't put it in the middle, which is a bit of a problem. So that's a thing. So where should we have it? What if I put it here? Doesn't look like it's getting me really any new spells. Yeah. We need another wind gem, really. If I make just another one to fill up a slot. I mean, we can make another evade. That's our problem, really. We can only do that. We can see what we could get maybe by putting the thing at the end of that chain. How am I messing up this put in the courts? There we go. Oh, we can only have one of... Only... Jolly good. Can't fill it no matter what. You make me so sad. So really, we can only have one extra one in there. We can't fill her slots at all at this point in time. I guess you can have an EP cut then. It's not really doing much. I do wonder if moving something around would be good. Maybe if I took out the hit. Took out the EP cut there. I put the EP cut in here. Remove the fire one as well. And then remove that. We can see if we can get anything that makes a new spell by sticking it in the slot. Now only fireball. <laughs> okay, what if I take out the other remaining one? Anything can go in there to combine with all that stuff and make me a happy man with cool new spells and abilities? No, sir. Okay, then. Let's just bung and ball back in. (laughs) 
Bang them all in the slots. Sad times for me. Couldn't get that extra win one in. Really need an extra win one right now. That's the best I can do for that. And now I've wasted some Zepif. Sad, sad. Well, let's head out there to the fortress. I mean, there's really else, much else I could have made. It will help me too much there. So let's go to Grimsel Fortress. Move to Grimsel Fortress. Sure. So this is Grimsel Fortress. Wow, this is one weirdo training facility. Anyway, I don't see or hear anyone from out here, but... Yeah, no doubt about it. You can see the footprints of several people who've come through here recently. Haha, <laughs> looks like that track and training actually paid off. Anyway, given the number of footprint sets, there can't be that many enemies. Three people, maybe four? Our enemies are good, and they are numerous, but we're senior bracers. There's nothing we can't beat. Heck <laughs> yeah, let's give it everything we got. Well, we'll take whatever we can do here. Not that there's a job board for us to check up on. Not that there's really anything for us to buy either, to be honest. Bracer Skilled Emblem on top. I wonder if we could use that as like a staging ground as well. Why build a complex if it's only just only going to be used for training, right? Oh, it's, a it's roaches! Bad roaches, a pain beetle. Can call animi an 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 animize? Use its mandibles to chuck foes. Sounds interesting. Interesting day you have there. I can't actually reach anyone, can I? God, you're so bad at this. Why are you so slow, Annalise? We need to get our CV building up again. That's one down. What are you going to do, chuck me? You really meant it. Hey, you can't go twice. God, you hurt. Oh, I should have upgraded slots. Maybe I could have got a slot upgrade going. Probably not, because I used the wind sap of a head, which I could use to upgrade a slot. Damn it. Got a bit more EP that way. You hurt, sir. I hate you. Oh, wait, weird cockroaches. Even though you're not. These guys actually give a little bit of experience. I really wish I didn't waste that green zephyr now. Weird pink bunny dog? What was it? A crybaby. A rabbit monster with green eyes. Throws black smelly balls of something. Don't you get me with your black smelly balls? Annalise, you really need to like work on this. I want to cast spells on everyone. But it does work. No. To be honest, I think it's okay to cry if someone just dumps a gigantic boulder on your head. We're good to go. So any balls? That's what they said. Oh, oh, oh okay. There's a gate closed. What the heck is this building? Fake walls and weird gimmicks? Huh, don't you find this sort of stuff in military bases a security thing? You know, a movable wall? I guess this place really is used for like infiltration or escape training. A military themed course? Oh great, it's like I'm trapped in Lace and Fortress all over again. But anyway, I hope, suppose if this thing is active, the eggs are in the building? Yeah, I say it's a good bet. Good news is, our enemies probably don't know this place any better than we do. If we proceed carefully and deliberately, we should be cool. Oh. Huh, what's wrong, Estelle? Did I say something bad? Carefully and deliberately. I remember Cheryl always telling me the same thing. Haha, <laughs> whoops. My dark, horrible past is exposed. Yeah, that's something Cheryl used to tell me a lot. She was my mentor for a while when I was still a newbie, you see. And well, I was kind of a super scatterbrain. I heard that line so much, though. It eventually got burned into my skull. <laughs> yeah, I've got a pretty good idea of what you mean. Joshua was just as fond of that saying as Cheryl was. But neither of them are here now, huh? It's just us. Yeah, it's all on us. 
Let's go analyze. Carefully and deliberately, right? Maybe even deliberately and carefully. Maybe. Now it makes me want to check out the other way, because that sounds like it's the right way now. Every enemy respawns in every room now. Deliberately care. And an EP1. Oh, great. We found another thing we might want to stick in. What would I replace that with, though? Getting extra EP is pretty good. I could remove that. Plus 3% EP is a whole whopping 2 EP. Hmm, <laughs> I don't feel that's worth it. But it does have, like, multiple elements to it, I guess. You can look at it in that sense. A whole 2 EP. Wouldn't we be so happy? I could move that and get rid of my wind element thing, to be fair. I wouldn't get any new spells, so... Around this side. Oh, no new spells, by the look of it. All negatives. As you close the chest, it gives you a sad look. I wish I had something more for you, too. Never close the chest. Alright, another chest here. And EP charge. You loot this chest already. It's strange. It almost feels heavy in there. Like a burden has been put on your shoulders. Can we go through here? This is a great. This is a military training thing. You should have landed me to bust through that grate. Find an alternate route. Right. Do you agree? What were they weak to again? Ah, that's not the right spells. Get a good old fireball in the other. Ladies, if you please. If you want to cast more spells, go free free cut. I have it on both characters already. Yeah, I know it's more about like the uh, the the gem type values we can get, and how that can mean more spells. That wasn't backseat. Don't worry about it. It's basically saying, someone said in the chat, that you better to go for EP cut than EP up. But then you got the gem values based on how much you get. EP cut will actually save us more EP over a full spell bar's casting than the two EP gain would even give us. It's kind of like one of those things. Oh, hello. How when I turn the power on? Well, we don't know. I guess we'll find out. A tear bomb. You know the chest is empty, but it served you well. Instead of opening it, you give it a gentle pat on the head. <laughs> Good chesty. So that power on was for this one. Okay, it looks like this should work. Right, let's keep going out there. Can I, I can actually close it again. Will that be a thing? Oh, there's a silly cockroach guy. Oh, I can actually beat this one up. It's even close enough that Annalise can get there. That's the exact kind of enemy we need. Single, easy to beat up. Because then we can get CP. CP matters. Alright, Annalise is not far from leveling. Always wondering if you might find a book in a hoover. Hello. Whoa! Those black smelly balls shot at me. Don't chuck me! I wonder if that would impede. Ah, black smelly balls come out of his butt! Dax, melee, butt balls! Butt balls, butt balls. I think I should get rid of these guys first. Bullet turds. Because I imagine, like, with their chuck, that might have an impede effect. I don't know. Well, I don't believe that would be too far-fetched. Someone's gonna end up in a critical. Hmm. How do I steal it? Not like that. 
Doesn't look like I can. I was thinking I could just kill the thing, but that's not gonna work out for me, is it? Someone's gonna get crit. It depends if they live or not. It was a stealth. So if that's the way the turn order's going, I think I'll just take my time and take that guy out. And to be honest, we need to use some tears, but I could use it outside of combat too, to be fair. And just work on finishing up our last opponent. A4 experience, Annalise is one battle from level. Alright, well we got shot down the alley by black smelly turds. I'm going to use the herb sandwich and hope that I can make more of it. I just want to learn the recipe at this point, even though it's my only poison cure. Let's see what it takes to make. Oh, I can't make any of it. Yummy! Fresh herbs we need. Poo, poo, poo. And I didn't buy any. Because, of course, I couldn't buy any. And I could have made loads of these. I should have ate one really early so I could bought more. Damn it. Alright, you got the most mana currently. Oh, Annalise is about to level up, to be fair. So she doesn't need extra health. And we should have used her mana pool for the tier as well. Because she's going to get the mana pool filled up again. Actually, to that extent, I'll just tear her again and make sure everyone's topped up to full. Got to think about how level ups work into things. Nothing hidden here yet. Crappy beetle. Oh, I'd have loved the EP heal better. Give me one of them, that would have been great. Well, we'll at least keep the Sepith then, I guess. Actually, wait a second. No, I can't even attack anyway. It's a shame. Should have worked to get both Sepiths, but we'll do. Is this enough experience for her level? Just about. Of course, that doesn't give us any extra EP, does it? Mm. We'll love it. Oh, hello. Into darkness now, eh? Well, we want to go this way first, because it's lit up. Hello. We need light. Otherwise, we're just going to be wandering around the dark. But what's this chest monster going to have for us, eh? Night goggles. What? There's this great story I want to... To... I can't even say it. There's this great story I want to tell you sometime. So we'll take this as the dad chest and all the other chests of the children, right? I'm, I'm going to see that in chat a billion times now. Night goggles! <laughs> what do they do then? Goggles allow sight and darkness, so then there's a special coating that enhances incoming light. That's kind of cool. I guess I'll switch yours. Oh my god, it's actually like night vision. <laughs> we got green goggle eyes. Night vision. Whoa, look. My trails are rainbow. Well, that's the way out. I still wasn't expecting to be that. Oh my god, the battle's in night vision too? Oh my god, Estella's blind. That's cool. But you can obviously still sense the target. Of course, you can't miss the spells, I don't think. That's a cool use of not only night vision in a game, but the other facet of it as well. Like, actually has... Damn it! Combat implications? That's cool. Oh, you reached me! Let 
don't think I've ever had night vision goggles in a JRPG before. Have I? Night vision goggles. In working even in this thing. To actually have a stat buff too. It's crazy. Oh, let's go, gotta go look around for treasure chests, haven't we now? There's another monster over there. Let me get you from mine. Two again. Estelle's gonna run out of mana soon. Which is not what we want. The intensity of green is really uncomfortable actually starting to hit my eyes when you look at the screen. I guess that for everyone it'll be a bit different, won't it? I think night vision is kind of that intensity though, isn't it? I guess that's what they're trying to simulate. I remember way back in the day when Call of Duty was coming out with one of its special editions, which was night vision goggles came with it, which is a bit crazy. I did not get it. Oh, there's two exits? Oh, damn. One took a really long way to get through. Which one do I go through? Damn it. Should I go through this one over here? Let's dodge that guy. I mean, obviously this exit is the one you come up to first. Yeah. EP charged. You can save the world, but can't remember whether you loot his chest once or not. <laughs> hey, I can't remember anything, game. This is me you're talking to. I don't know if I remember or not. Alright, I guess I'll quickly move it back. But then I don't ex It's not that like we can change equipment otherwise. But they have no purpose otherwise. I'll get you in the butt. Oh, here comes one of those little bunnies again. I'm running out of spells, so he keeps getting into fights to use more spells. Yeah, if it's too green, you can focus on my shiny head. It's all good. Here comes the poo monster. We're not going to have enough damage to take it down, but at least we get the Sephiroth attack. Ah! No poo hit me today. Give me your flesh, beast. Or am I? That was a good pack for experience. Uh, Estelle isn't that far from leveling. Where's a rest point, guys? Another never floor? We haven't been attacking the corridor again for a little bit. I want levels! Oh, yeah, it had to be a big group. That's my last spell. So we'll still end up on the critical by the look of it. Nice. I guess I better use an EP charge. Even though it's not that far for a cell level up. I forgot I could change the camera angle of the bell. Why would I want to? I feel like the camera angle anyway is pretty set good. It's set good is. Jumped up. Like three more battles of that type group and we'd be good. I worry about stepping through here and the monster fighting me, but then if I use an EP charge when there's a rest thing. Ah, let's just use it. We've got seven, to be fair. It's like the game almost knows you'll need more. Oh, we could just beat this guy. It's a CP generator mob. That's what we love the most. Oh, yeah. Eh, two ish bells. Depends on what is going on there. What's that? I'm trying to read if it said anything on the bag. Hello. Ah! 
ID unit has been found. I thought that chest was a bit big. What's this? Ah, huh, seems like some kind of device. Also, looks kind of like an ornament switch. Well, probably good to take with us, right? This place is a training facility, so it might be used to open trap areas or something. Yeah, good point. Even just getting it, it's been a lot of gates, pitch back rooms and stuff, so... Well, they always say to be, be prepared, right? Anyway, let's get going. Yeah. You obtain a usable event item. Throughout the story, you'll run into certain story events that require using one of these in order to proceed. To take advantage of usable event items, open the item tab in the cat menu and directly select the one you'd like to use. What? Mysterious equipment found in Crimson Fortress. It seems like an normal device of some coin, but you could just use it wherever. Activate ID unit, but there was no notable response. Doesn't look like it would be used here. This is the 56 chest you've opened. Congrats! Nah, no, just kidding. I'm not even counting. Is it? We well, someone to go back for the video. <laughs> Things like that that make you question if it is or not. Oh, I thought he turned it. Look at me then. Feet up this bunny. That's the gloriousness of preemptive attack, isn't it? Being that close to just be able to smack him in the face. Still two battles for Estelle, if it's more than one monster pack. Get the bunny quick! Ah, here we go. Right, so do we work on these nicely. Estelle's gonna level up so I can feel free to use spells. Um, we'll end up with a critical on... Estelle for a follow-up attack? But I think this will knock this guy too far out of the way. That ends up the critical analyze, even better. By a mile. Oh, well, you're gonna get an attack in, but Analyze will be able to finish off the second pooper. Pooper shooter. Send me in the air! Fireball! So we can feel free to use your spells as we wish. Not bad. Doesn't feel like we had 56 chests, more like 23? Yeah. I agree with that. Castle tier over there, just assuming of course we'll level off the next battle. Here we go. The door appears to have a lock mechanism, but there's no obvious lever. Hey, Alice, you think this device might be... Yeah, it looks like it's a machine to control our door's lock. If we use it, the door should open. But how do you use the darn thing? I don't see a lever or anything. Maybe there's something to open it somewhere. Why don't we go back and... Hey, that's right! You figure something? Remember that device we picked up in the stairs? Ah, that weird piece of junk. Yep, maybe we should try it out. Come on, what'd you say? Uh... Well, I don't mind trying, but I don't know if it'll be that easy. Take advantage of usual event items, open it up, and then use it. Do you know what? I'm doing this instead. Those enemies respawn instantly. I can get level up just in case beyond that door is a boss. I will take my level up first, thank you. I'm sorry. This is the way it has to be. I forgot that I can literally just jiggle in and out by the same back, right? Now that the respawning has been slightly modified. It's not that bad, is it? You could get that guy while looking at it. Do you think I can attack? No, out of range. Trying to move close to them. Hey, please hit Estelle! Yes! Exactly what I wanted. I wanted poop shot in my face. Now that I think about it, maybe I should stop saying these things. I am invincible. Or am I? All right, that's my EP back. So whatever's behind that door will be quite fine to fight. Level 41 for a stealth. Let's use our ID thing. Then. 
Activate ID unit. Whoa! Yeah, I worry about those bits on the side. Aha, it really opened. Haha, <laughs> just as propels. Alright, let's keep our eyes peeled and carry on. Yeah! Nothing, does nothing. The door appears to have a lock mechanism, but there's no obvious lever. Yeah, we know. Just gonna use, oh, here we go. Of course, right there. Let's get my EP back. So, the boss lies beyond this door. We saved approximately two seconds ago. We'll do it again, because it's so fast. I'll just step in to find what's in here. Oh, nice brace remnant. <laughs> Finally made your way here, did you, you freaking brats? You! Did you finally show your face? Welcome to the newest outpost of the Jaegers and the Lemon State, kidlets. Did you have fun with all those great traps we left for you? Traps. Yeah, battle of last. Thanks for that. More to the point, I'm guessing you're keeping Kurt and Phyllis behind that door, right? How about you let them go before I pry off that mask and paint your face with my sword? Ha <laughs> ha! Trouble you want, little chicks. You've come so far not even realizing this would be a grave. How sad. How very like a bracer. Isn't that our line? I've no idea what you guys are trying to accomplish here, but you've really backed yourself into a corner. Heck do you? Uh, yeah. Guild reinforcements are going to be here soon. Once they get it, you're out of luck. Try again, girlies. We smashed your phone. Just how do you make contact of any reinforcements without that? Uh, well... Oh, crap. I need to pull out a really good bluff. Right. What kind of bluff will you use? Smoke signals. Don't need to contact. Trainees coming. Smoke signals. <laughs> Don't need to contact would be a good bluff. Oh, I don't know. We use smoke signals. That's the only way to do it. We can't at the base of the mountain with smoke signals. It's not like we're completely unprepared for an emergency, you know. Uh, Stell. <laughs> what a cute little guy, girly. It's funny. I was on the roof a little while ago, so why don't I see any smoke at all? Ah, uh, I guess that was a little too simple. Damn it. Out the way, you brats are an eyesore. The best use for your skins will be as cleaning rags for a new base. Die. All right, bring it on, you monster. Won't lose. For the guild! Never give me...